and welcome back to the Salmon FM with me, Mitchell, and this is my Castle Vale save. And yeah, we're going from non league to the Premier League here, boys. So, little catch up, as you know, last time out, we secured promotion on the final day, and it took us up into the Southern League, Eredivisie uh, Central. So, it's basically the uh, Southern League, Central Premier League. Um, so, basically, yeah. Uh, and it's going well. We're currently top, if you haven't already noticed that, in the, uh, the top of the screen there. And yeah, we're uh, very, very much in the driving seat, going into the last game of the season. Remember, I'm only bringing you one episode a season, so it's a lot to catch up. So let's dive in and have a nose right now. Uh, as for the competitions, as you can see, there we are. Driving seat, top of the league. Three point difference as well as eight goal swing. I don't see us losing it, but you never know. Uh, we've got the Emirates FA Cup, which we were knocked out in second qualifying. FA Trophy knocked out in the fourth round. Southern League Cup, we were knocked out in the second round. Done dusted, not interested. I'm just interested in the league. Okay, so the finances of the club. We've currently got just short of 100 grand in the bank. Excellent. We're going to go into the next division. Hopefully, we finance is better than some clubs. And we'll take that as it comes. A uh, little look at the schedule, and you guys can feel free to pause at any point just to have a little look. Um, and what I'll do is I will just do a little bit of this. Um, boom, 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 ba boom. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, I should not have started this process, but like I said, feel free to stop it at any point if there's a result that you're interested in and you want to have a little nose yourself. As you can see, other than that, other than that one littered uh, FA Trophy round four defeat, we have been on an absolute mammoth roll. Uh, in the league, uh, our last league defeat came to Hensford, and that was back in January. And it's just been three months of pure bang, 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 and bang. Look at four, two, one results back to back to back. That is what you call mwah, we wang this is um, but yeah. Not too bad of a season. Sadly, there's been a couple of patches where we weren't quite at it at the races. You know, losing one nils, not not a great result, especially when you're scoring. And yeah, it's kind of frustrating. But anyway, enough of the boring stuff. Um, let's have a little look at the squad. And what I'll do is I will write. Uh, stick them in average rating order as you can see our best player has been Jason Sraha um, sadly he is currently suspended uh, he's also wanted by a couple of teams higher up uh, Lucas Ufa who is on load from Horsham comes in second he's been a great signing out on the wing uh, we then have Colby my little nephew putting in a uh, 7.07 .07. Cohen again, my little nephew uh, Alex Wally on loan and a Jaden John Lambie. But he hasn't played much since I signed <laughs> Mr. Wally, so uh, yeah, it is. Um, it's very competitive, my squad at the minute, and I'm not gonna complain. Uh, as for the tactic, we're still using the light sheet and still, however, I think next season I am gonna mix it up a little bit. Uh, I keep saying it, but I think I'm going to create another one for myself and see how that gets us going um, before probably it doesn't work and then I'll revert back to uh, <laughs> how it was before. Right, let's jump in. Um, there's no tactical uh, opinions. Let's see what the thingy requests uh, suggests. And I think I'm going to go with it, to be fair. Yeah, I'm gonna go with him. I'm gonna go with it. So let's get in to today's action. As I have a squeaky chair. 
Okay, so the team sheets are in and we are up against AFC Rushton and Diamonds knowing full well as long as we don't lose by four goals and well we don't have a, a don't lose and have an eight goal swing. We are good as rain to go up. I don't know what I'm saying there, I'm just wafting good as rain. Good as gold to go up. Pretty much certain. The question is, can we maintain the winning run? That's what I'd like. I'd like us to go into the next division and win our final game of the season. Not relying on our goal difference. So if we lose today and St. Neots won, for example, I'd rather us not just rely on going up in goal difference. As Bow clears it to Paul Phillips. Oh, a bit of silky skill there from Phillips before Paul just completely gives the ball away. And Russian Diamonds hit us on the break. They have absolutely pulled your pants down, lads. Absolutely pulled your pants down. That was embarrassing. So, not off to a great start, are we? Wonder who's going to stay off between Harlow and Lowestoft. And Lowestoft have got St. Yachts. Look at that. Dominating the game. They've had one shot on target. Uh, well, two. We yeah, had one shot on target and scored it. Uh, Frashy arms around. Sound far from pleased with that. It's not been full of fair highlights, has it? Webb, get the hell off that pitch. You are absolutely diabolical. Wally, you can come off as well. Coburn, get on there and score, lad. Berate them again. I'll tell you what, guys, this game is not not full of highlights, is it? Not full of highlights at all. This is poor. Oh, look at that. We're going up on goal difference. Not the way I wanted to go up, but we're going up on goal difference. There's five minutes left. About four minutes left, and we're relying on goal difference. We've been the best team in the division. And we're going up on goal difference. Oh, do you know what? I can say it as many times as I like. Oh, yeah, no. That is just dreadful. That is just embarrassing. Oh, but St. the Arts have uh, <laughs> conceded, so. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. There's not a four goal swing. I don't think there will be. A minute left for us. Their game potentially might be over. Davison ending it on a poor result. I think Mr. Paul here at left back is not pulled in some decent player performances at all this season. So I think he will be one of the first names out the door. I pulled my hair out of him uh, plenty of times as well as Alaviera at the right back. I think the full back areas are definitely two spots I'm going to be trying to improve. As we're just under the cosh. It's been very poor. And that's it. Defeat, but we win the title. Bit of a boring game, bit of a boring episode, so I do apologise and hopefully the next one will be better. But Mr Sean Bow will now receive the title and he will lift it high above his head. And there we go, there we go. Congratulations boys, it's another season done. Does that make us Vanarama National I think is it or is it Ismail? Um... I think if you stick with me, we'll have a little nose. Okay, so there you have it. As you can see right above, below me, promoted to the Vanarama North or South. So, 
I'd like to say we're going to be in the north because I know see I know north uh, I know Solid Your Moors play in the north. Well, they played in the north. So in theory, we're going into the north, but obviously the lines may end up falling us into the south. But there we have it. We are promoted again. We are in the Vanna Rama leagues. This is just on. Believable. So, thank you if you're still watching to this point. It's been a great journey so far, and I can't wait to get myself stuck into it for next, the next episode. Keep an eye on my channel. I've been working a hell of a lot lately, so there'll be more content coming hopefully in the future when I get when I fall onto my roster pr properly. Because at the minute I'm doing a lot of training, so. Keep a lookout for it, keep an eye on it, and I will see you next time for the Castlevale Non League to Premier League. See you later. Bye bye.